Okay, so I'm running up on some cartels. What is up everyone? Thank you for watching Franco TV. So today I'm probably going to be rushing right into this video. I'm getting an ATV and I'm going to be heading into the mountains deep far in there and I'm trying to see if I can find mummies that are buried within the mountain. All sorts of crazy stuff that are in there. I don't know if I'm going to be safe too much. I don't really know what the circumstances are. All I know is that I have a crazy adventure ahead of me and I want to take you guys with me. I have my knife, a lighter in case I have to make a fire and survive. Wish me luck. Let's get into the video. Okay, so right now they're getting the ATVs ready right up up here. Look at this view. Oh my God. This is what I love about the mountains. I don't know which one I'm going to be getting, but it's definitely going to be one of these. Hola amigo. Okay, so pretty much I got to put this helmet on. Sorry if it's really loud, but they got a pump going on in the background. Something for the house. Oh, this thing is way too small. Okay, I'm trying the best that I can. I got two people taking me. stuff out here which is what I'm pretty much excited for they said there's a whole graveyard of things out here but it's way out in the mountains <laughs> the roads are really bumpy out here hey buddy It's actually my first time on an ATV as well. Never been one on one before. I think my dad would like this. If I only knew where he was. I'm going down on a downhill. It's hard to control the brakes. One here and one down there. The break next to my foot is the one that's a little bit weird to get used to. Alright, so I'm running up on some cartels. <laughs> I'm kidding. I keep thinking of Pablo Escobar when I watch that show. And this is kind of like little routes where they would hide all the drug stuff. Like a little secret way to get away from the military people. That's the talk person. Oh, there's a rock. I see it. Okay, so right now we're walking up this mountain. There's a house up here where the mummy's at. It's like an old ruin of a house. It's weird for how quiet it is coming all the way up here. It's kind of like being on the top deck alone on top of a cruise ship. Just feeling all the wind hitting you. So that's the mummy right there. And if you look, it's even got some hair all around it. And they have some tokens. A bit more. Look at that. I wonder if you can see the hands. It's got something like a necklace around the neck too. Wow. That's amazing. So he says something here is they find gold. Sí. Como tipo como oro en realidad. Como oh, como very, uh, muy chiquitino, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Es tipo como oro. Eso, el segundo nombre se llama oro para todo. Ah. ¿No? Cuando hay sol se nota más. Tú puedes verlo más. Exacto, brilla más. Entonces. La oro. So they find little nuggets of gold in the trees, or not in the trees, in the rocks, which come off the mountain after time. 
So up here is pretty much the abandoned little town area. Now the other thing is, is that there used to be a whole bunch of graves all through this area out here. And the graveyard, they found a whole bunch of bones and stuff, but archeologists came out and pretty much recovered all the bones and took it back. Over here, that looks like there was something buried in here. There's like a square perimeter here or something was here. You can see the outline. I don't know what it would be. It could be like a furnace. I don't know. I don't even want to assume what I think it could be. What do you guys think that was? There's definitely a lot more structures looking beyond these rocks, but it's really rocky area. It's like a hallway tunnel here to some of the other areas within this house structure. Ugh. Out here, they used to find ore, uh, crystals, gold, and silver out here. I thought it was just gold, but, and they were kind of confused and puzzled why um, they were finding that stuff out here. And that's pretty much because of uh, the, wi uh, the wizard, the river <laughs> that runs down from the mountains. It kind of brings all those little tiny nuggets of, of uh, values that pretty much they find in the lake or washes up here. A long time ago, there used to be a lot of water through these mountain areas. I don't know too much up here, but further down, but as you go down the mountain, you could see a line where the water used to reside at, but now the water's dried up and it's like a little pond now or a little stream. Moving forward. I feel slightly a bit ashamed because I got these boots just so I don't kill myself and holds my ground, right? And then you got Makes it look easy. <laughs> I gotta get me some sandals like that. Oh shit, see? This won't even do me justice. All right, so they said they wanna go back. It was a pretty cool trip all the way up the mountain. Okay, so now I'm making my way back. Oh shit, I almost fell in front of the damn thing. But uh, yeah, now they're gonna be making their way back. That's them way up there. There's a random bike out here for some reason. You can see crosses for people who passed away. And I guess they put a memorial all the way up the top of the mountain. That must suck to get all the way up there. All this here are still ruins, but that's the only preserved ruin that they have. Oh shit, I hate the mud. Don't fall in. There we go. That's the little stream river where all the gold gets passed down. So all those nuggets of gold that fall off the mountain runs off in that stream. And if you go scuba diving or snorkeling and you got some good equipment, you could detect all that gold and pull it up out of the water you can almost see them shimmering. It's better to do it when it's sunny, so that way the sun could reflect off the gold nuggets that you find in the water. Look, there's chickens, baby chickens. Buenas, hola. He flicked me off. He said, he said, F you. Get through these corners. I don't want to go that way. I don't even want to go back. So I've made it to the Puente Colgante Catipala. Carapala. This is the beautiful water 
that I wanted to soak myself into. Oh man, you can even see the bridge bouncing up and forth, up and down as I walk to it. But I also found out that this water is super clean when you're going through here. So you could drink it, you could swim in it. And I've always been told not to drink the water from a different country, just to be safe. But I don't care. I'll drink it. Kicks up my immune system. Someone packing up his day. I guess they were selling oranges or something. finally made it to the bus. I, I didn't get to record because it was pure chaos. Just going through that traffic, getting into the thing. I actually thought I missed the bus to get to this area that I'm trying to get to. But I finally made it. I get to rest. It has just been crazy. And I'm only gonna be at this place for five days. If you're wondering where I'm at, I'm trying to keep it a secret. Just in case, yeah, just keeping it a secret. Can't really take too much. So this is the area where bus station was located at. The things out here gets a little bit dangerous at night as it goes off, so I was really hoping I didn't miss my bus. Well, I might have to be walking through here to get a taxi or something. It's now 11.40 at night. This bus is actually cool. It has cool little lights. So I finally made it, I got a place to stay. And uh, I'm now in the town, well, yeah, in a town in Trujillo somewhere. I don't really know too well the town. Then again, I don't wanna give my exact location in case a particular person in Santiago wants to come after me. <laughs> but I finally made it here and uh, it's beautiful, it's nice. I don't feel as nearly as endangered as I did over there, but I still have to be careful because over here there's a lot of motochoros, pretty much are the motor bandits that just stop their motorbikes or scooters or bicycles and just grab your stuff and run. But uh, this is how the environment looks like here. This is kind of where the shopping centers are. I'm gonna be showing you guys some more stuff here that I missed last time, because I learned a lot while vlogging since the last time I was here. These are the little small stores here, little bodegas that I'm pretty much gonna be going to. Buenas, hola. Let's see what they have to eat there. Yeah. Hamburgers. It's another bodega. They usually have this so nobody kind of breaks in and tries to rob the place. You just kind of pay over the counter. But it's all closed, right? Well, I don't think it's closed. I think it's open. I'm just being a little bit cautious here because I don't know anyone from around this area. It's like a retro, very old school gaming for gambling. Okay, so I just took a taxi. I'm gonna see if I can make my way to a mall district or a mercado. The only thing is that at a certain time, the taxis don't really function around this area because it's kind of dangerous at night and that's a lot of when the robberies take place. But uh, hopefully I'm lucky and I can get a taxi back home. 
So I've made it to the Super Mercado. It's much brighter, right? Doesn't feel like you're in the middle of back roads of Colombia. <laughs> That's what it kind of looks like. So I finally got my cart. Some of my necessities here. I got a microfiber cloth because I lost my other one. And that's to help clean my laptop screen. Because that's literally all I have <laughs> to work with. Damn, what the hell is this? I wonder how much they charge over here. 26 bucks, so I think that's about 10 or 15 bucks for a whole rib. I think that's ribs. Wow, that's huge. What is this? God, you can literally beat somebody up with this. Panceta es pao. I don't know what that is. Alright, so this is four soles, right? That's the currency here. Sol. And these are the Oreos, right? This usually cut. Oh, that's not too much. But that's literally a dollar fifty for a whole bunch of uh for a whole bunch of Oreos. It's literally equals out to a dollar fifty. And all this is pretty much a dollar fifty per each of these things. I think I'm right. Should be somewhere right around there. This is three, so that's even less. That's probably like a a dollar. Probably about a dollar. Because it's the dollar ninety. Thank you guys for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen. Please like and smash that like button if you haven't. I have to still continue with some crazy adventures that I have planned out. It's been a bit chaotic since the plane right here, but now I should have more of a diagram, diagram of what I'm gonna be doing. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.